Hello. Uh, bonjour. It is I, Noe. I'm reaching out to you uh, across the endless void, uh, straight from uh, above the highway. Uh, this is my script, by the way. I can't actually like form a sentence without writing it down first. Anyway, yeah, uh, today's video is uh, sort of a sequel to this Golting one. Over the last like two-ish uh, month, uh, I've been working on a little set of miniatures, a little warband. Uh, they're based on like my Knights of the Sunflower, which was the, the first project I really shared online. Uh, long story short, I now have two sets of five miniatures that are completed. Which brings us to uh, today's video topic, which is uh, casting. Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is attempt number two at shooting this video. The first try uh, didn't really go great. I got caught by the weather, and then everything started snowballing out of control from there. Uh, the mold started to leak, then the sprues came unglued from the bottom of the mold and, you know, a cascade of failures, basically. Now, as much as it sucked, I guess it was kind of a productive failure. I learned a bunch about the process and what went wrong. Yeah, these were uh, my original sprue designs, and I was inspired by everyone uh, doing, like, actual useful sprues. Because, you know, it's, it's good to uh, save uh, resin, and I wanted to be a trendy boy and uh, save the environment, I guess. And on top of that, like, my idea was that uh, if models went on sprues that were this big, well, they would kind of save silicone by just being grouped up instead of having a bunch of individual molds. However, I, I think I got, like, a little too cute with it. The sprues ended up, like, way too bulky, which means I didn't really save as much space as I thought I was gonna. Two of them were made of uh, wood, which wasn't sealed properly, like that was my bad, which meant like the silicone started bubbling around them uh, while curing because there was still air in them. Overall, they were not super well constructed, like they were fiddly and it was a, kind of a mess. So I went back to the drawing board and made uh, smaller, much more manageable designs. This is the new design. Uh, it's smaller and uh, yeah, it kind of worked much better for the purposes of molding. Hey, look, uh, it's me, Noe from the past. Um, this is footage from the first try uh, at making this video. So while this went to hell in real life, uh, the principles are still pretty good. First up, I'm making a form out of cardboard. Uh, you know, don't do what I did in this footage and get some sturdier cardboard because this thing fell apart. Otherwise, this is a simple process. You know, a glue gun just does most of the job by itself. I just went a little too big too fast. Now the mold itself is made out of silicone. Uh, this is a fairly soft silicone that I selected with a hardness shore of 12. I ran a bunch of tests to see if any of the gear I was using would inhibit the cure reaction. And thankfully everything worked out. Even the super glue, which uh, sometimes has sulfur in it, uh, which is bad for curing silicone that uses a platinum based hardener from what I understand. You can see me uh, pour the stuff in, and yeah, I only had small cups, so I needed a bunch of batches. But silicone has a long work time, so it's fine. Now, like I said, these uh, failed because of a leak and poor attachment of the sprue. However, uh, once they had cured, which took forever because it got super cold out of nowhere, I was able to cut these molds up to bulk out the ones that I'm using in this video. Which, hey, every cloud has a silver lining. Okay, it's time for the real deal. I can't really back down now. I mix my resin one to one, aiming for weight of the combined parts to be the same as the original. And, you know, because I don't have a pressure pot, I'm gonna use any tricks I got to make this work as best as I can. I'm gonna tilt the mold around while I pour, I'm gonna tap it on a hard surface to try and dislodge any bubble we got. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this outside in the middle of December. And that's because in my initial testing, the resin came out pretty bubbly because it cured too fast. I was barely done pouring and it had already started hardening. So I'm doing this in roughly 13 degrees weather in an attempt to slow the curing reaction, which will let the bubbles come up 
uh, through the vents that I installed in the sprues. I was never great at chemistry in school, but at least I know that heat speeds up the reaction. And now it's just about waiting. Well, you know, this is uh, a mess. Uh, it's got bubbles everywhere, the legs just didn't cast at all, there's a huge bubble there. Uh, the lantern's fine though, which is surprising. Um, yeah, the, the blade just doesn't look like any, like, looks fine, but the guard just got completely messed up. Anyway, uh, let's not dwell on everything wrong with this model. It'll get better. Uh, you know, it's a learning process. This is like just another test I've made. I wanted these to be perfect for the video, but they're not going to be, and that's fine. Uh, that's life. Uh, I'll keep experimenting. I'll keep uh, fucking with molds. I'll keep making new attempts at making a line of these. I so badly want to release this and like have these uh, come out and send them out to people because I think it would be uh, really cool and also it's a uh, way to make money which I like so yeah uh, if that means having to buy a pressure pot and doing it that way well that's what it takes and that's actually probably what it's gonna take to get rid of these bubbles probably maybe also getting like a, a slower resin so i still think like some of these bubbles are catching in weird places there might be just like mold retooling at some point and you know obviously i can't just make a series of these in on just uh, tiny cup molds that need to have a serious kind of like production operation with bigger molds that would need to be produced but you know, uh, it's the first step on the journey. I think it's important to document it all. And uh, hopefully next time you see these, they look like actual mirrors. Hey, it's the end of the video. And it's also uh, the end of the year. So yeah happy holidays everybody i'm at around like 1400 subs as i write this and i gotta say a, a massive thanks to all of you i know this is like a bit of a downer video to end the year with but you know i'm gonna persevere i'm gonna keep working on this casting business i've already got new plans to try and make them better so you know expect these models to come out at some point i am gonna keep working on them and I will keep uh, updating you guys on when and where you can get them once they are uh, at a quality that I like. But I've also got a ton of other plans for next year. I want to work on little projects like a proper intro for the channel and making dioramas and spotlighting more awesome creative friends who've been a huge help in getting me here and I want to make a game board and go to conventions and enter a painting competition. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of projects, but you know, hopefully you'll tag along for all of them. Uh, yeah, it's been an amazing ride so far, and you know, I haven't set up like a, a, a Patreon campaign or a coffee or anything like that yet. Um, it might happen next year, we'll see, I don't know, it still feels kind of weird to me. But if you would like to make me really happy uh, this Christmas season and you had a buck or two that you might have wanted to throw my way if I did have a Patreon, uh, I would encourage you to donate to PCRF or another uh, organization of that kind that currently helps uh, people in Gaza and Palestine because of what's going on. Thanks everybody for watching and, you know, leaving comments and liking and stuff. Uh, I love all of you. Um, I'll see you in the next one where I shall bring forth the seeds of the dead to share with the worms that gather in the darkness.